Xi Jinping in 2030, overlooking the ruins of Beijing after he tried to instigate a fourth round of purges that year followed by the failed second invasion of Taiwan, using his last moments to tell the rebel generals that captured him that everything he did was for the prosperity of China. I don't know how well that's going to work considering he's been beaten up pretty badly. Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you, internet cables pass from Yemen. With everything going on in the Red Sea, is this also going to be a problem? I don't know how I'm going to upload to YouTube if they cut those. Talking about a strong and independent Europe versus when they're actually called to defend Europe. Government commitments based off percentage of GDP. Belgium, Spain, Italy, and France aren't necessarily the highest on the list, yes. North Korea fires artillery shell towards South's border island. Ah-ish. Here we go again. Is North Korea and Kim Jong-un sure, though, that they really want to do this again? Even Yugoslavia supported the South. So cute. You look just like your father. Meanwhile, North Macedonia with their father, Bulgaria. I'm not sure how they're supposed to take this. Be Japanese pilot. See several torpedoes heading towards carrier. Sacrifice yourself to fly into torpedo. Successfully take out one torpedo. Only one torpedo hits the ship, greatly reducing damage. Ship explodes anyways because poop damage control. Imagine wasting your life to save the ship and it still goes down because of bad manufacturing. Meanwhile, your enemies at the time, during World War II, the Americans, they have a ship literally just made to serve ice cream. Soviets watching as the Americans develop the F-15 as a response to their MiG-25. Not sure if I'm supposed to pronounce it like that. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Talk about a proportionate response. Dutch man sabotaged Iranian nuclear program without Dutch government's knowledge. You sabotaged our nuclear program. Did we? Responds the Dutch government. They were literally never aware of that. Another dub for the Netherlands. The official Ukrainian Air Force Twitter account saying it sent a greeting to the occupiers in Crimea. Meanwhile, it's just this cat photo. Coming up on the two-year anniversary of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, yet the meme war is still raging. U.S. fighter jets to fly over Bosnia in sign of support as Serbia calls for succession. Babe, time to defend the territorial integrity of Bosnia. Yes, honey, responds the U.S. Air Force. Talk about here we go again. The five stages of grief. Kosovo is and will always be Serbia. They'll never dare to secede. What? How dare you go freakers leave glorious... Oh, I forgot this is actually how Serbia is supposed to be spelled. Get back here this instant. If I don't recognize you, then you're not truly independent. Look, several other countries agree with me. Why do you have to secede? You're so culturally important to us. My battle, my laser, my church. Finally, we're at the fifth and final stage of grief. I guess we're not really sure exactly what this is going to look like, but stay tuned. It should be entertaining. I'm reminded right now for some reason of the statue of Bill Clinton Kosovo has. Why do I have the feeling this is going to age like milk? LGBT stands for lesbian from lesbia? That is apparently a real place somewhere in New Mexico, by the way. Oh, it's a city. The G is for Greek, the B is for Bulgarian, and the T is for Turkish. Wait, is this some sort of alliance acronym like NATO? Asia with 23 native cat species. I can explain. Then there's Africa who'd be like, you're getting 23? I only got 10. 10? I only have four, responds Europe. You guys are getting native cats? Oh, poor, poor Australia. Imagine if cats were poisonous and could kill a grown man in 60 minutes with just a single scratch. That's probably what they would look like coming out of this continent. Fun fact, there are 3.8 million pet cats in Australia, though. German is such an aggressive language. My honest reaction. I will admit the Germans make actually fantastic children's songs. Okay, this is adorable. I've never heard of this one. I myself have always preferred this one, though. First date. Ask what's her favorite European country. Um, I don't know. Belgium, maybe? Explain why she's wrong for the next two hours. And what's the point of even going on a date if I can't do this? That one time in history where literally the entire world formed the Avengers all just to fight against who could it be? Portugal! Wow. That was like the least country I ever expected to see there. This was the Portuguese colonial war. It looks like they just really didn't want to give that stuff up. Europeans, I'm traveling to the USA. Meanwhile, the USA, New York City, Florida, Gary, and of course, Los Angeles. Wait, did they mean to put Gary, Indiana? Or did they mistake this for Chicago? Gary, Indiana is the backbone of American culture. I know the Europeans love to make fun of us for our Euro trips. I mean, really though, they're not wrong. But yeah, there's similarities between the two. Duolingo tweeting out, coming soon. Please don't hurt my family. I swear I'll learn French. Oh, it's far too late for that now. It's French or the trench. Oh, Average cool. Latvian it's man be really, like, really cold outside. In really cold outside. One, except. Oh. There is nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Dress warm, go outside, and then realize it's not working, and then just suffer. <laughs> Man, this really makes me want to visit Latvia. Just become friends with this guy. Every single, single Italian, Italian off in the year I've made mad. In 20... Oh, well, yeah, you do anything... Uh... <laughs> it seems like this is a very easy thing to do. Oh, man. 
Oh man. <laughs> Even from a young age too. This that is a very it's a younger looking Italian man. Okay, that's even I'm like Yeah. Kick him out. This is your ketchup. Yes. <laughs> I literally saw an Italian cruise ship guy throw a lady off the, the ship because she put ketchup on her pasta. POV, you're asking me how much I pay for rent in New York City. I don't know how people get away with this. I'm surprised they answer too. I feel like I'd be ashamed. I don't even pay nearly as high of rent as they do in New York City. I too in California don't really love my price. It appears that my superiority has led to some controversy. That feeling when you'll never save big money at Menards. That feeling when you'll never have Culver's, the best fast food restaurant. That feeling you'll never experience the the beaches of the world's largest freshwater lakes. That feeling when you'll never experience snow days and sledding with your best friends. That feeling when you'll never have a reasonable cost of living. That feeling when you'll never ope. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. That feeling you'll never enjoy glorious fall weather and wildlife hunting. That feeling you'll never work for a unionized industry. That feeling you'll never drive on the roads that question your sanity. As someone who's never been in the Midwest, this is making me really want to travel to the Midwest. I'm clearly missing a lot. Canada will be a world power. Canada will have a global economy. Canada will have 100 million people. Canada will have nuclear sub Canada will be sovereign in the Arctic. Canada will maintain English and French. Canada will forge a more distinct national identity. No, we should get annexed by the USA. The duality of the Canadian man <laughs> on full display today. Honestly, Canada doesn't make sense to exist anymore. I've been saying that for a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just... <laughs> it costs $400,000 to live in this country for 12 seconds. Oh, I didn't know this man recently visited Switzerland. Who would win? Four question marks. The T14 Armada. Or this exact Toyota Helix. Literally this one. One broke down in the middle of a parade. Meanwhile, the other crashed into Bristol City Infrastructure based. Sang into a 40 feet deep tide estuary. Set on fire. Fell off a 200 foot London tower block as it was exploding due to dynamite. Engine still works. And this is exactly how the Toyota Wars were won. The African nation of Chad literally beat beat Libya because of these vehicles. Oh, this is the exact one. Oh, he literally just tries to destroy this vehicle. And by the end, it's still running. It's how is it still running? Why is Japan so good at making trucks? Me, do you speak my language? Meanwhile, the six foot four man full of muscle from Brussels. This is not exactly how I imagined that person from this song being, but okay. How to piss off an Aussie. The uploader has not made this video available in your country. Oh no, is this a problem they have to deal with a lot? Well, at least they probably have men at work playing for 24 hours a day. But the official Bluey YouTube channel for the cartoon made in Australia doesn't allow- Wait, what? Europe's army at 100% strength. Here we have all the flags of the EU. Meanwhile, the European army at 99% strength. France's performance in World War II does often overshadow the rest of their military history. Remember, they're considered to have won the most military battles in history history. So maybe this meme isn't completely inaccurate, but then again, you kind of just got to give these guys a couple years to build up. They can usually figure out how to do that pretty fast. That's going to be crazy to finally see the big blue blob of France with Germany on the same side. Like that never happens. And again, it is 2024 and Poland would probably disagree. They won't lose another war just because they're so sick of the memes at this point. Average 28 year old Scandinavian versus average 18 year old Finn from some city or urban area versus from some town in central or eastern Finland. A modern Viking versus actually knows what to do in a war and how to lead a platoon. My ancestors from thousands of years ago, his grandfather who actually fought a war, knows how to mew and cite Scandinavian sages versus knows how to shoot by age 12, goes to the wilderness with his friends to walk versus goes to a random force in Lapland, really good at COD versus already a second lieutenant. I guess if I was a betting man, I think things are obvious. China shark versus Taiwanese fish. Oh wait, but he's brought back up. Wait, uh, the EU and the USA fishes are just sitting from behind. <laughs> wait, what? It's really South Korea, Australia, and Japan coming to their aid. To an extent, I can kind of see that. They definitely have more on the line. They're right there. Russia invades Romania. Meanwhile, Romania. Is this going to be like another theft joke? Oh, yeah. They're... they're Oh, I see. They're just stealing the, the aircrafts. Ah, okay. There we go. That strategy probably would work. By December 2024, all mobile phones, tablets, and cameras sold in the EU will be equipped with standard USB Type-C charging ports. Meanwhile, this response asking the real questions, why are the government official accounts releasing information in meme formats now? What do you mean, why? This is definitely the way to get our attention nowadays. It's that simple. The tiny, thin nation of Transnistria. No, how about Moldova's Moldova? How about Romania's Romania? 
Romania's Romania. But the best of all, Eastern Europe's Eastern Europe's Eastern Europe's Eastern Europe. It's literally like country inception at this point. The last one is a bit of a mouthful. I do prefer Romania's Romania's Romania. Or yeah, at the very least, Moldova's Moldova. POV how I felt after learning that the word Balkan has Turkish origin. It all leads back to them, doesn't it? Balkans are not happy after hearing that. New definition for Balkans. In the darker red, we have what's traditionally considered the Balkans. In the brighter red, not traditionally Balkan, but heavily influenced. So I guess it still counts. In black, 100% not Balkan at all, but countries around them consider it Balkan. In pink, has some territories in the Balkans, so it's Balkan. Finally, I think the only thing we can all agree on, just basically honorary Balkan. Portugal is Balkan. Glad we're always continuing to help evolve and define this word. Big thanks to my patrons. You can find a link in the description down below to support me. The beautiful Megan Underwood. Drum your dad back with the milk. Look outside. A fat I normal. cannot sleep without Drew's voice. Annoying Amateur friend. archaeology. Caramel S. Inquisitor Joey Zerius. John Denver. Carino is Luxembourg best lover. Sebi, if you hear Robert this, e. I love Tamron, you. The Great the Mexican 760. And Zany Boy.